again, again, I hear my daughter say about every song, book, and toy that she enjoys. This repetition can be exhausting to me, but she not only enjoys it, studies show it supports her learning. I'm Amanda Hasty, mother and teacher, and today we're going to talk about repetition, why kids love it, why it's important, and how we can create repetition-rich environments. And don't forget to subscribe for more great educational content and tips. In one study, three-year-old children were presented with new vocabulary words. They were all presented the same words, and they all learned these new words through reading. Half the children read the same book day after day after day. The other half of the children had a different book each day, but all the books were presenting the same new vocabulary words. At the end of the week, they found that the children who had the same story repeated day after day after day had a better understanding of the vocabulary that was presented to them. In another study, children watched the same educational TV show every day for an entire week. They found that every single time they rewatched the show, their comprehension increased, but their engagement never decreased. These studies shouldn't surprise us. Repetition helps anyone learn something new. I know just the other day I was trying to learn a song on the ukulele, and every single time I repeated playing it, I got a little more confident and the song sounded a little better. When we learn something new, we're building a new neural pathway in our brain. We strengthen that by going over the same piece of knowledge again and again and again. In a child's world, so many things are new. Consider language. A child has to come up with a word for every single new thing they experience. It can be exhausting. Repetition not only helps the child learn faster, but it also gives them comfort and familiarity. I can do this. I understand this. That repetition builds self-esteem, and children love that. So repetition is important, but how do we build a repetition-rich environment? Here's six ways. Repeat activities. It's easy to update and change things to keep them interesting or to strengthen certain skills, but as long as your child is engaged, Keep repeating the same thing again and again. Keep those library books checked out just a little bit longer. Play the same game every single night all week long. Make a morning routine or an evening routine that's consistent. As long as your child is engaged, keep repeating the same activity. Keep the environment the same. Sometimes it's necessary to make changes in your environment just to make the space work better for you. But change, just for the sake of change, may not be the best thing for your child. Remember, part of the benefit of repetition is the comfort that it gives. And keeping your child's learning environment the same can also give comfort. So keep the books in the same place. Always do your morning reading in the same chair. This repetition in the environment, consistency, gives comfort, and it also builds confidence. Step up your game. When you're reading that same book or singing that same song for what seems like the millionth time, it's easy to do it without thinking. But one way to help your child gain the most from repetition is to engage with it yourself. So when you're reading that same book, Again, use voices for the different characters. Ask your child, what do you think is going to happen next? Or what would you do if you were in that situation? When you're singing that same song, again, add motions to go with the song. Or ask your child what the song is about. Your engagement is great for helping your child explore the activity further, establish stronger pathways, and extend their learning. Rhymes, poems, and verses. You may wonder why the rhyming repetition of rhymes, poems, and verses are used in so many classrooms. And after singing, row, row, row your boat, 
a hundred times, you may wonder why you ever taught it to your child in the first place. But scientific studies show that the phonemic skill development gained from nursery rhymes significantly improves reading, spelling, and other literacy skills. These patterns and the repetition found in rhymes, poems, and verses can help your child develop inference skills, ability to memorize, word articulation, voice modulation, the practicing of pitch, volume, and inflection, strengthen mouth and tongue muscles, listening comprehension, phonemic awareness, introducing literary devices like alliteration, onomatopoeia, and imagery. And I could go on. There is so much that can be learned from rhymes, poems, and verses. But if you want to know more, go ahead and read this study by Harper. Repeat on demand. Forced repetition does not have the same benefits as requested repetition. Be flexible enough to repeat a learning activity that your child is enjoying. Make sure not to let your schedule dictate your day to the point that you will force your child to stop a learning activity at the peak of their engagement. Repeat. If your child's enjoying it, repeat. Spaced repetition. A child's brain, like our own, stores information according to how important it is. It naturally strengthens memories that it encounters frequently, and it sidelines information that it rarely uses. Spaced repetition mimics the way that the brain already works. It involves the regular retrieval of information. This technique has proven over time to help children build and retain critical knowledge. I like to use this technique when teaching basic math concepts. When I taught K through second grade, we would do a daily calendar time. Now I do it online on Mondays and Wednesdays. Calendar time involves counting on, counting back, skip counting, place value, and other basic math skills. It's a short activity, but every time we do it, it forces the brain to retrieve the previously learned information. It teaches the brain this information is important. Later on, a child will have to expend less energy to retrieve that previously learned information and instead can focus on more complicated problem solving. So next time your child asks you to sing that song or read that book just one more time, embrace the opportunity to help your child learn. They will reap benefits from repetition. And if you have any good ideas for encouraging repetition, write it down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot.